Let's dive into the first topic. Chris, Blake Snell is not helping Major League Baseball fan sport. Uh, if if he thought this would like if he thought anybody was going to side with him on this, uh, I don't know. As <laughs> Michael already jumped in and said Gary beat that Rona. Yeah, this this was not the Rona. This was uh, <laughs> if the Rona is that, uh, I can understand staying at home all the time. I, but I don't know what the Rona is, so who knows? Uh, but yeah, and so so Blake Snell. Jared Carabas, who does a baseball show for Barstool Sports, tweeted this and said, uh, Blake Snell saying what a lot of other players are thinking right now. I agree with him 1,000%, and I'd feel the same exact way if I were in his position. Good for him for saying it. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. So he, he uses some words that we try not to use so much on here, but, uh, but we're going to toss it out there. So we'll, uh, we'll let you listen to it. You can decide for yourselves. <laughs> No, I'm not splitting no revenue. I want all mine. Bro, y'all got to understand, too, because y'all going to be like, bro, Blake, play for the love of the game, man. What's wrong with you, bro? Money should not be a thing. Bro, I'm risking my life. What do you mean it should not be a thing? It 100% should be a thing. If I'm going to play, I should be getting the money I signed to be getting paid. I should not be getting half of what I'm getting paid because the season's cut in half. On top of a 33% cut of the half that's already there, so I'm really getting like 25%. On top of that, it's getting taxed. So imagine how much I'm actually making to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't making shit. And on top of that, so all that money's gone. And now I play risking my life. And, and, what, and if I get the Rona, on top of that, if I get the Rona, guess what happens with that? Oh, yeah, that stay, that's in my body forever. That damage is not going to be like... The damage that was done to my body, that's going to be there forever. So now I got to play with that on top of that. So y'all got, I mean, y'all got to understand, man, for me to go, for me to take a pay cut is not happening because the risk is through the roof. It's a shorter season, less pay. Like, bro, it's, yeah, man, I got to, no, I got to get my money. I'm not playing unless I get mine, okay? And that's just the way it is for me. Like, I'm sorry if you guys think differently, but. The risk is way the hell higher, and the amount of money I'm making is way lower. Why would I think about doing that? Like, you know, I'm just, I'm sorry. So, in my head, I'm preparing for next season. And I'm preparing, well, I'm actually preparing for right now. But as if I'm preparing for next season. Like, it's it's super weird, man. More Twitch streams for us, that's facts. But, guys, I'm just saying, man, it just doesn't make sense for me to lose all of that money and then go play and then be on lockdown, not around my family, not around the people I love, and get paid way to hell less. And then the risk of injury runs every time I step on the field. So it's it's just it's not worth it. It's not. I love baseball to death. It's just not worth it. So, and we've already got people jumping in the uh the chat here. McKinnon said, dude is out there talking like he's going to war. That's a douche move for sure. I get the money thing, but you're a pro athlete. Don't be a priss. And then Michael said, sounds like a tool. So sad you're getting less money. Try unemployment, D-bag. I think that's what most fans are going to think when they hear somebody talk like this. Now, I get all sides of it. I understand not wanting to go out there and get the Rona and whatever, right? I, I get that. But uh, on the other side of this, he just signed a five-year, $50 million deal. I understand he doesn't get all of that right now. He's still in the early stages of that. He gets more as the years progress. Like, I went and looked up his uh, his contract. Like, he gets $11 million next year. It's $10 million yeah, this year. It. Uh, it was not as much last season, but he gets $11 million next year, $13 million, and then the last one is like $9 million. So, it's, you know, I, I get the point. Um, but it, it's... You know, we did get an email from a listener who is uh, up in Chicago, and he said uh, he he wanted to jump in on this, but he's not on social media, right? And he he listens to the podcast. Uh, his name's Scott. He said, um, "My understanding is that the owners proposed that the players take a prorated pay cut to their salaries. The proposal was reviewed and agreed upon by the players back in March. The reason the players don't want a fifty fifty revenue split isn't because they're greedy, at least not completely." The players believe they've already made a deal with the owners. Now that the owners have better information regarding just how vast this virus may impact their income, 
The owners want to walk back their previous agreement with the players and are proposing a new one. There currently isn't a revenue split in baseball. Uh, player contracts aren't based on team or league revenue like the NBA, NHL, or NFL. This is because there's no salary cap. Agreeing to a 50-50 split of revenue by the players would essentially be the players agreeing to a format that leads to a salary cap. It wouldn't necessarily be a paid decrease for the players, but revenue sharing now would open the door for future negotiations and could give the owners leverage during the next CBA. Uh, he said, I can sit on the fence with the best of them. I understand both sides. The players believe they've already made a compromise with the owners. Uh, if only half of the games are played, the players are only paid half their salaries. The owners believe that the revenue streams may be severely impacted by fans not being in the stands, and they want to make sure that if revenue does in fact tank this season, that they are not on the hook for those lofty salaries that they owe the players. Um, it, and he goes on to say that like he thinks it's absurd that MLB doesn't have a salary cap because, I mean, he's a fan of a, a small market team with the uh, Mal- uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Excuse me. But I... It's it's insane. Like, for players to look at it this way is is just kind of crazy to me. Like, I, tell me tell me your opinion on this, Chris. Yeah, no. So, I don't know that I made a, a good enough argument the other day for what I was trying to say when I was crushing the players' union for laughing at the proposal. My issue is not it is not with the split. Because right now they don't have a split, okay? They they don't have a salary cap, whatever. I don't care about any of that. I think the owners made a bad argument for what they want, all right? I think saying that we have um, an agreed-upon contract, everybody's going to get paid their contract, but it's going to be prorated per amount of games. So instead we played 162, now we're going to play 81, all right? Yeah. So – we're going to pay you half of what we did pay you. I think that is fair. Then they tried to make the argument for all the revenue and stuff. That's when it sounded like they were trying to go towards a revenue split, which is a form of salary cap. And the player said, no, we don't want that. I completely agree with not wanting the salary cap as the players. You've never had one. You fought it so far. I'm not a fan of it because I think it helps parody in the game but we've also seen a lot of small market teams rebuild through the draft win championships and then they blow up their team it sucks but if you're a royals fan you know every 10 years you won a championship yeah that's not a bad thing or, or the marlins you know, or the go call uh, the marlins uh, they won two in like six or seven years i yeah. mean you know but but they always blow it up afterwards and that's just, that's just how Small market teams have been able to do it, but at least it leads to parity. For the most part, there's a good amount of parity in the game when it comes to the final champion. Um, so I'm not I'm not a sticking point on the salary cap. I wish there was one because it would even things out. You'd find out who the real smart organizations are and who those are married to the money um, and can't win without it. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. But I, I think the 50, just the players taking 50% of the money for playing 50% of the games is acceptable. It's reasonable ask, and that's all I want. I don't think that is trying to get a salary cap. I don't think that that is trying to hurt the players in any way. Or, you know, if the, play, if the owners are overpaying a player now, they're going to overpay him for half the work, just like they'd overpay yes. him for a full. Blake Snell is saying he wants his full contract for going out and doing half the work. That guy can EAD, man. <laughs> let's let's jump into some of these comments. Matt Miller said, I don't understand the 50% of his salary and then 30 per, or 33% of that. Uh, I don't think he even understood that. No, like, he, he just, just made a bunch of shit up. And then yeah. when you start arguing, and then I got to pay taxes. On top, everybody pays taxes. You are not unique. These owners didn't negotiate a screwy tax system for you to, to hurt you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So nobody cares that you have to pay tax. Whenever you start bringing up, and I got to pay taxes, so I'm really, he uses his words, not mine, not making anything. Yeah. <laughs> this is when you want to take that guy and go beat the hell out of him. 100%. Uh, Michael said, sorry, I'm not sorry, douche. Does he realize that the people who can't pay their bills pay his salary gives a bad name to professional athletes? I think a lot of professional athletes are like this. They they don't understand where the money comes from. They don't live in from. the real world. 
It's, they really don't. They no. are so separated from what really happens on a day to day life that it's it's amazing. Uh, the Brown Yeti said seventy five percent of jobs. The most dangerous part is driving to and from. Same with his job. That's my problem. Uh, McKinnon <laughs> said, "You're talking to a guy that puts two hundred miles a day on his vehicle." Oh yeah, I'm I'm going to one day die in a car accident. It's just statistically possible. It's kind of the reason I don't take care of myself very well. <laughs> you were ridiculous. Uh, McKinnon said, not to cry boo-hoo, but I'm about to head overseas for an extended amount of time for the Army near ground zero for all this Rona shit while my wife is pregnant as well. I guarantee you I make a shitload less than the national average, let alone a pro athlete. Just shut his damn mouth up and play ball, dude. Be happy for the opportunity. Yeah, that's what you'd thing, like to see. He's making us argue for these billionaire owners who most of them are total assholes. Yes, okay? that's the problem. Right? You're, you're making these guys look like victims because you are such a prick right now. Yeah. Uh, Matt Miller says, also, the owner shouldn't be glorified either. These are billionaires fighting for millionaires, or fighting versus millionaires. Uh, Joseph Gomez on YouTube, no one is going to feel bad for players making $10 million versus $20 million. However, people forget that there's only one owner per team, and they are making $50 million versus $100 million. Did you see that Jerry Jones yacht? Good Lord. Like Jerry Jones, no, oh, smart business. Hold man. on. I'm going to stop him right there. In NFL is different. Major League Baseball owners aren't making $100 million a year. Nope. Okay. Ba- then those margins are actually pretty lean. These guys are billionaires doing other things. Yes. And the baseball team is their toy, which is why some of them are super cheap with it. Not to think that they don't make money, okay, but they don't make $100 million a year per team. That That's just not how it goes. Yeah. If you're the owner of the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Dodgers, you probably do. Most of the rest of them do not. No. Not at all. It is not the NFL where every owner aches equal. NFL owners print cash. They own the team to make a lot of money. What what Major League Baseball, the way you own your money and make your money is the evaluation of your team, which is I bought it at $100 million, and right now if I was to sell it, it'd be worth $800 million. But I don't make any money. I don't. I didn't make $700 million. I don't make a dime until I sell the team. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Like you, you can't make it's money a cost off of it neutral until, business. But it's the, the same. valuation goes up and up and up. Yeah. So it's basically an investment. It's a stock. Small, small market NBA teams are the same way. Like Robert Perry, the owner NBA of the Grizzlies, is exact same way. Yeah. He. I mean, they they work. Their operating budget is not very. No, like, no. They work on real lean margins. The yeah. owners are billionaires. Yes, but they are not. And that's that's why I do a good job of actually fighting for owners. I think more times than not, because. I don't care how you made your other monies, okay? We're arguing this business here. You're talking to a guy that owns three different businesses. And because I do well in one doesn't mean I should take it in the ass on another one. Right. Because you didn't have anything to do with this one over here that I made a lot of money in. Correct. You had nothing to do with that one. And that that one has nothing to do with this one. And that one has nothing to do with this one. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the way it goes. So this one losing money, I shouldn't make this one pay for it. I shouldn't push these workers harder. Like, they have to be seen as separate. I know the margins are lean in baseball for the most part. I know the Red Sox. I know the Yankees. I know the Dodgers. I'm sure the Cubs. I'm sure there are other market teams that I'm just not, the Cardinals. These teams print cash. If you have a massive fan base that are, that are nationwide or big regional, you print money. Everybody yep. else, they make money as their team evaluates more. But, it, but, but the operating only, costs are only rich like, from their other businesses. You got that right. Michael said, uh, sounds like another Latrell Sprewell. These guys are so disconnected from reality. Jose said, amen. Uh, Michael said, I was law enforcement for six years. Not once did I bitch about having to go out and protect people. It's what you sign up for. Uh, yep. The Pats crew did quick math. Snell would make $999,000 this season as proposed. Uh, oh, Pats crew, like talking about uh, Pat McAfee. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, he'd make a million dollars this year. Like, but here's the thing. I, I think he would actually make more than that. I think his numbers that he's arguing is wrong. I yeah. think they're asking them to take a 50% split. They just want it tied to revenue because if the revenue drops, maybe they can argue making them pay less pro oh, rate over he, the years to make he up said that money. He said that's counting taxes, so that's that would be take-home pay. He would take home a million dollars. No, but I thought it's, he's got like a five-year, $50 million deal. There's no way he gets a million now and then $30 million in four years. Like, that doesn't make sense. No, 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 because it would – like, he's 
they're saying as it's proposed, like as like with what his numbers are talking about, right? Oh, like not not necessarily his numbers, about. but like but but the the proposed MLB stuff, right? Like if you, I don't know. I, that's I'm, I think I'm, the MLB proposal was fifty percent. They want yeah, fifty percent. That's it. I don't know. I think all the other stuff he said after the fifty percent is is bullshit. I think he just made up a bunch of stuff. I so even if it is fifty percent, uh, let me try and look up his his contract. But he's one being more time. asked to work fifty percent of the games. That's Agreed. reasonable. No, I I think it's totally reasonable. Hold on, his uh his contract. For this season, pays him seven point six million. So he's got a six hundred thousand dollars signing bonus uh, every season. He let's see, his base salary this year is seven million. So his payroll salary is seven point six. Next year it's eleven point one. Then it's thirteen point one. And then but the last year, year is sixteen. This year 6. you were supposed to make seven million. We're gonna pay you three point five. Yeah. I mean, and then I, you got to pay your damn taxes, yeah, you asshole. That's part like, of it. Like everybody else, like everybody else. Uh, Matt said, "Let's go in together and buy a minor league hockey team. They cost nothing. Like <laughs> we we could bring the uh, the River Kings back to Memphis. Good gracious." Uh, let's see. Michael Fritz said, "Matt, can we call him the Murder Hornet? <laughs> the Memphis Murder Hornets. I'm I'm in. I'm in." Uh, Monster Gaming said, "Can't wait for 2030 when Philip Rivers has one kid for each NFL team." Yeah, we're we're gonna get to that point. Just give them a little while. Just give them a little while. There, there ain't as much to do in uh, in Indianapolis as there is in uh, San Diego. So, I mean, just a guess. Or L.A. for that matter. Uh, Michael said, if Snell has a problem with the situation, it's easy. Don't go play. Go get a real job. Nobody's yeah. forcing him to play. Um, no. And that's the thing. Like, he's in a situation where he he's made enough money right now. He doesn't have to sit out. I say he's made enough. He made one point six million last year. He, like here's the thing. Honestly, he he's okay made for a walk away money. He hasn't made walk away money. Not yet. It, but I'm gonna tell you this. This is the kind of guy. If he didn't have baseball, which he's crapping on right now, if he didn't have baseball, this guy would be a nobody. He'd be a nut. Now he's a hell of a pitcher. Okay, he is a hell of a baseball player. Let's let's not make bones about that. If he didn't have baseball, he would be a nothing. He'd be a nobody. This guy would be worthless. I'm trying to find what he's made up to this point. Uh, here we go. Career cash earnings. Not a lot because he was on his rookie deal. Let's see. His 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 five yeah. his fifty million dollar deal is arbitration. It's not even it's not even a contract. Uh, he's he, still on his rookie deal. Over the last four seasons, he has made uh, two point four six one million. And he's had a he signed a three million dollar signing bonus. So last not, year. yeah, so, so, so that was his yeah. So he's it. he's made over six million dollars in the last four years. Yeah, um, not a lot. When he yeah, gets what, to his next contract, if he can continue to be the quality of pitcher he is, yeah, he'll be a I mean, hundred million dollar guy. He's only twenty seven years old. Yeah, so um, he'll be a hundred million dollar guy if he can keep it up. But to be fair, uh. Like it's six million dollars. There's a lot of people in this world that ain't ever going we'll to get close to that. You're right, but the problem is, is he's lived the lifestyle being a baseball player. With that six million dollars, he's already pissed away. I, I don't know that he's got any money left. Uh, the Brown Yeti said he probably would start twenty games, so I'll take that money. Uh, Matt yep. said yes. Uh, talking about the Murder Hornets name, uh, Michael said that's probably like seventy percent of professional athletes. Chris, they would all be broke without sports. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of them might be. Um, I think a lot of them would be, yeah. But I think, I mean, there's there's enough out there that would be able to excel at other things. There's there's a good percentage of uh, players in these sports leagues that are smart enough. That they they use their mental side for the game, but they could use it on other things. So I, I agree. I, I could, you know, I'm not disagreeing with that. He's I, not I do one think, of them. I do think 70 percent is is a good number. And and you're right, Blake Snell probably probably not one of them. I, I, he's never had to be. I mean, he he was drafted out of high school. Like at Shorewood High School, like he was a first yeah, but round draft guys pick. that come out of high school that were smart as hell. Okay, yeah. Kobe Bryant never went to college. All right, he came straight out of high school. Yeah, but it still took him a little while to like figure these things out, right? Like you still have to grow up. Like I, I, I don't I think agree with that. He wasn't this dumb. No, I don't. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right on Blake that. Blake Snell went on a public thing that people can find on the internet and rambled about something that he knew was going to get hits and then knew is pretty easy to fact check 
and I'm pretty sure after he said 50%, he just made a bunch of other shit up. Yeah. Uh, now, he did come out. He did tell uh, the, the newspaper down in Tampa Bay, you know, hey, uh, I know some of the stuff I said wasn't, you know, exactly great, but, like, you know, it is a risk for us to play, and I want our normal lives back, and da 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 It's like, and you just want to look at it and be like, that's not happening right now. You want your normal life? Hell, we all, all want of us our do. normal life, okay? There's, I there's really over 36, want to go sit at the bar and drink a beer. Yeah, there's that's, 36 million That's kind of all I want people. is somebody to wait on me and bring me food and booze until I got to stumble home. That's, that's, and, that's but all we're, I want. We're the lucky ones right now. We, we're we yes. still getting a paycheck. We are able to do our work. 100% we're there's able to work. 36 still. million plus people in the United States that have filed for unemployment as of this week. A that was another 2.9. want to go so. back to normal life. Yeah. We're finding a way to where you can have some normalcy, which is playing baseball again, practicing, training, working out, playing the game every day like you're supposed to be doing. Your body is telling you it's baseball season because this is what you've done your entire life to get to this point. Yeah. And you're not doing it. So we're trying to get you back to no, – don't say I'm trying to get – I want normalcy. We're trying to give you some normalcy. You're, yeah. you're the guy saying, I want everything. Yeah. But you don't get everything. Nobody does. You, uh, you are so dead on. Let's, uh, this let's... guy's an ass hat, man. And I like him a lot because he's a great pitcher. I really, I really liked watching him pitch. But, but I, I've lost a lot of respect for the guy. And usually that's what happens, by the way. Usually you hear your heroes talk or you meet them and you realize oh these guys are neanderthals like yeah. if it wasn't for this sport that i watched them play on tv i i could i could care less about this guy and now my respect and opinion of this dude has just diminished to nothing yeah. it gone gone down the drain i want to um, know how pat mcafee figured out that if he was supposed to get seven million dollars his contract this year would be worth a million. I'm, I'm going to guess give nine hundred thousand. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to guess that that is because even know. if you take half of it, that's three point five, and then thirty percent of that, like that, you're you're still at a, over a million dollars. And I guess then you tax it. Maybe maybe if you tax I mean, a million if you, bucks, you're yeah, if you yeah, tax it, that's probably right. I guess. But e- even still. It, you make a million dollars to go out and play, you know, and, and he's not even pitching in all 82 games. I'm about to do the, I'm about to do the math, by the way, on 7 million. Well, it's 7.6. Oh, that's a lot more then. That's. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to read uh, some of these comments. Cool. Um, uh, Michael said, Snell's mama needs to beat some sense into him. Matt said, you learn how to manage your money as you gain experience in life. Uh, Darren McArdle on YouTube jumped in, said, hi, great job. Love your comments here. Uh, Michael said, yeah, the whole story. Uh, I got caught the apology. Um, the Brown Yeti said, how many donations does he get streaming? Because this was on his Twitch stream. Like he, he's yeah. apparently on Twitch all the time. I'm going to guess it's fairly significant. You know, he's yeah, got I'm a lot bet of fans. He's got a revenue stream of, and I bet he's not just on Twitch if I had to guess. Oh, I'm sure he's on not. Twitch. So, so I did some quick math. If you take half of his salary, the 7.6, cut that in half, and then take away another 30%, throw that away, so you still get 70% of that number, and then I taxed him at 45% in taxes. I, I don't, I'm sure he's got some write-offs, okay, but he's a high tax bracket to do, so you're only getting 65% of your whatever. I got $1.7 million. Well, uh, okay. Now so that's Ma- just how math works. Well, hold on, hold on. Ma- McKinnon also tosses in uh, agent fees as well. Well, I don't know all that bullshit, and he didn't bring up agent fees. He's well, and on top of that, tax. like agent fee typically is it's 10%. about one percent, two percent. Now it's not a lot. It used to be oh, ten. Yeah, it used to be ten. Now it's like way down. Of millions of dollars. So it's small now. It's like three percent. I don't think it's much. Uh, as far as the stream goes, um, the Brown Yeti said it's probably more than minimum wage for every hour that he streams. Probably so. Like I'd, I'd be willing to bet that it's it's definitely more than seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, agent fees is what uh, McKinnon said. Michael jumped in. He said, "Good point, Matt. That's why they need someone around to help." And then he said, uh, "No matter how you slice it, Snell is highly overpaid." Now I don't know that he's overpaid. Uh, you for give being him a, a normal one sixty two. He's a dude I'd like on my roster, especially with the contract he's got right now. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'd, I would, I would take like him that. for the money he's got right now, but I want him to pitch. And then I need a really strong pitcher like Max Scherzer to beat the hell out of him every day. He's not pitching. Tell him to shut up. <laughs> Tell him to shut up. <laughs> you, uh, you. 